What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. Today, we got a Guild War battle for you all. Epic Fell Delta versus War Gods. The match is already done, so we're going to be having some fun doing some 2v3 comps. But before we get into that, though, I do want to take a quick second to say uh, thank you from everybody uh, that did catch the last video here. It got an amazing response, an overwhelming response of positivity from the community. Um, I've literally checked about 200 comments, and by the time this video is published, I'll probably get to everybody else, or I probably have like I, I don't know, like 50 or 60 more comments to get to. But either way, guys, uh, really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. If you normally don't like the videos, thank you for taking the time to like the videos. I'm super, I'm super grateful that uh, you guys did really enjoy that story. And uh, if you guys like more stories, all you gotta do is uh, follow me there on Twitch, twitch.tv slash childish402. We stream Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. So yeah, any more any more stories you want, that's where you gotta be, okay? So uh, here we go. <clears throat> First guy that we're gonna be going up against here is Sammy Two Toes, okay? So again, our match here, we're doing 2v3, uh, you know, no matter what here. And so obviously with the Guild War battle already won, we can have some fun. We don't really care if we win or loss. I just wanna see if we can do it. So if you guys are like wondering why the cringe level is a little bit higher than it normally is, it's all good. Like I said, if we can get the win, I'm definitely down. Okay, so here we go. Um, the first team that I want to use, I guess for this first comp here, is I want to go, I, I, want, I want to bring something with a little bit of potential, right? So I'm going to run Daphnis, and I'm going to run Shimate. Like, this doesn't make too much sense at all, but this is my thought process, okay? I feel like they're going to be having Will on either Jean or Luis. I'm hoping, I'm literally hoping Jean, right? Because if I can get the snipe on that between both of those units here, I don't think I'm going to have too much issues Shander's going to be hitting Daphnis. Daphnis has a shield. It's whatever. We can hold on to it. Um, but at any rate, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with my Shimate. Shimate actually needs to get uh, improved uh, a little bit but because I threw some random runes on it probably about a month ago. But honestly, I've been using it in RTA quite a bit, and it's like it's been coming in clutch, okay? It's been coming in clutch, okay? So, yeah, I'm definitely down to play around with that. Down below, though, we got a Bastet, we got a Bale, and we got a Lagmaron. So this is what I'm thinking here for this two-team cop. I got to uh, expose myself. I gotta expose myself because uh, it was a really, really fun story here. I don't want to get too into it, not to make it too long. Again, I've already done 18 minutes of rambling in that last video. But basically, I had to do a siege battle. We needed the clutch win. Um, there, basically, Lyco was a hard counter, but I did not have Lyco rune because I utilized the runes um, on uh, various other units that required vampires. So I haven't used Lyco in a minute. I ended up slapping on some runes, making this work, hard counter the comp. But as you can see right here, uh, this is looking like Duran, you know, from the <laughs> from the game here. So this is not the way to build the Leica, okay? But at any rate, this actually worked for what I had to do. And it, it allowed me to get a tower that was super clutch. I think we got the win on that one. Don't know if it was me, but whatever, okay? It helped out. So we're just gonna we're just gonna try to see, considering the lack of multi hits on the team, to see if we can get the job done on this one, okay? Please have will. Please have will. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we what do we do here? What do we do? I think we just try to reset. I'm gonna to try to reset right now. I really don't want to get controlled with the uh, Jean. Please don't proc. Uh, can we put a glancing on? Wow, wow. That's, you know what though? That's really not. That's really not too bad of damage right there. Please. Oh, oh. This is good. This is good. Okay, okay. Strip it. Def Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. But you know what though? We can finish it off. Airbender for the love of God. Take it out. That's enough. Oh my God. We could do this. Okay, okay, okay. So here's the deal. If he gets stunned, it's all good, right? It's all good. We unfortunately have to waste a little bit of damage um, from Daphnis to uh, Shandra, right? Because we're not trying to hit, we're not trying to hit the uh, Luis. Luis is just, he's just, uh, yeah, it's just whatever. Like we're not even trying to deal with it, right? So I'm gonna take my sweet time here. Whatever, you wanna provide that, that's okay. As long as I can, oh, you know what though? What do we do here? Wait a minute, what do we do? I, I feel like, I feel like still Shandra's a target. The greed, we have to go with the greed here. Can we get a defense break? We can't get a defense break, but I think that's going to be enough to get the job done. We got the crit. It's out of the way. I'm digging it. Here we go. Put a glance in on this one. Put a reset on this one. Give us a little bit of time for him to get his... Actually, I think he could put up a shield, right? But he can't put up an immunity, right? So, yeah, either at either rate, we're good. We're good. If we get the buff to use Daphnis to get it done. Oh, this is it right here. Give me that one shot. You know what? Didn't even get a defense break. Apparently, we don't have enough accuracy to get it in, right? But it's whatever. This team worked, okay? Now, here's the here's the tricky one here. This is the team that has some insane kind of damage, insane kind of stuns. Okay, this is cool. I'll take it. Who do we go for first? I feel like we need to go for this one here. Let's do this one. Give me the stun one time. Good stun. Good stun. Give me the one shot. Oh, you know what? We can't get that because... 
because we got the uh, attack break, but it's okay. It's okay. Just stay long. Uh, no, no, don't hit that guy. Come on. Do not hit that guy. Good kill. Good job, Garo. Stay alive, baby. Go ahead. Just do a little bit more work here. That's okay. Now, Garo solo, yeah? Garo can solo. It's all good. Get the kill. Would you stop? Get the kill. Garo, stop getting stunned. What are you doing, man? You need to do work. Here we go. Come on now. Get the stun. Good job. I need a... Oh, man. This glancing, though. This Bastet is going to make me outrageously mad right now. We're, if this Bastet comes back, I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad because it happened. It's happened before, guys. I, uh, I I went up against a comp like this. I'm like, oh, it's not gonna be any big deal. Uh, we're gonna outspeed, and then I outspeeded. I outsped it like big time. And I'm like, wow, why in the world am I outspeeding it? And then I realized, oh hey, it's a violent Bastet, and the violent Bastet can proc just as much as a Theo or just as much as a Perna procs, right? So we need a good stun here. We need good stun, good HP. No, we didn't get anything. Oh, that's right, because of the she. Oh my God, I just got wrecked by a Bastet. Next one up, we got Laika, Amelia, and Annabelle on top, and then Molong, Beta, and Skogol. Yeah, well, you know what though? I think it should be okay if we go like uh, water twins here. Two units, a little bit of water, plenty of multi hits. Laika's gonna be out of the question, no problem. And then as long as Annabelle don't do anvil things, then we should be in a good place here, right? Down below though, let's go ahead and bring in CR for that soft CC, a little bit of that bomb action. And then we'll go ahead and bring in our passive stripper here, if I can find it. Where is she at? There she is, Miss Iris. So I think what I want to do though, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up here. Instead of the speed lead, I'm gonna rock the accuracy because even though we have 75% accuracy on our units here, apparently it doesn't mean nothing when it comes to when it comes to Guild Wars or Siege or whatnot here. Literally, I've been I've been slacking or something's been going on when it comes to these uh did these units hit to provide, you know, some kind of harmful uh, effects or whatever? And I just been, I just been doing horrible. And I'm like, what, what, what's going on here? Oh my God, that seriously just happened. All right, what do we do here? Let's go ahead and silence Skogel. At the very least, strip the will. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, well we're in trouble. Uh, we're in trouble. We, we kind of have to hit him because the anti crit is off, right? The anti crit is off. We want that attack bar increase. Iris, gonna get hit a little hard, but it's okay. I might even. <laughs> Oh my God. Do I even put this on YouTube? Oh my gosh. That's it, I'm done. No more messing around, okay? So we bring in the Lauren for the first turn and control uh, control their damage here. And then we'll go ahead and have, have some fun with Shimita here and we'll get we'll get a nice big one shot, right? Up top though, we're gonna do this uh, lovely Miho. We haven't played around with Miho in a minute. We're just gonna cycle a little bit of turns here and uh, We'll see how long it lasts here. Again, this is probably not a smart idea because Gallon's gonna put a defense break for Kuni. Maybe, maybe this Carl is just gonna be speed tuned perfectly to go ahead and get a jump on this one. But um, you know what? Whatever, whatever. Do we do this? We do the pushback? You know what? I don't even think it. I, I feel like I should wait a second, right? Let me just wait a second. Here. All right. Let's see what happens. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Is it gonna happen? Oh man, the one shot. Oh, he missed the crit. He missed the crit. Let's see if we can just get this big hit here. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, better, better, better. Go ahead. If you want to revive, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna control you. Yep. Go ahead and get this hit here. Get the kill. Yes, that's what I'm talking about here. Stop it already, Galen. Silly Galen. What are you thinking? Give me this right here. Push the attack bar back. We don't want better to do better things. Bring in the revive, or bring in any more anti crit to slow us down. Whatever like that. There's really no way they can come back from this, right? We just gotta keep on knocking this one down. All right, here we go. So yeah, now now we're pretty much done here. Again, I don't think Fran would have provided us any additional result, but I got to give some love to Rukuni because that's what was a pretty clutch unit uh, for me uh, for a very, very long time here. So let's just go. I'm going to go ahead and push back this unit. Just get it set up right now, just in case that Wusa got the turn here. Now, funny enough, this Wusa got to be on violent, right? Because my Shimate, as you guys saw, is only about 230 speed. So um, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty surprised that we outspent that. It has to be on a violent set, right? So, okay, 44k, no problem at all. Now we have that ability to go ahead and strip those uh, harmful effects here. Let's go ahead and take down the Praha if we can here. I'm really not looking forward to getting sleep right now. Let's get that second skill in. Let's see what kind of damage we do. But even without the attack break there, guys, 18k, that's really not too bad at all. And again, I don't know if you guys saw my runes early on, but uh, honestly, uh, I feel like there needs to be more love to Shimite. Shimite's damage, considering the runes that I have, is... It's outrageous, in my humble opinion. It's outrageous. I mean, look at that. 40, 40K, no attack, no attack break, just a defense break. Or sorry, no attack buff, no defense break. And uh, again, probably like what? 2K, 2K attack, something like 150 crit damage. Um, 
it's it's really good I, I feel like i you know honestly i think i'm gonna like make some adjustments on this one have some fun with it because look at that not even 2k attack not even 2k attack here uh the damage we were getting is is uh was pretty good considering you know considering the runes i got here so yeah uh, that's gonna be it guys for this video once again for all of you guys that did check out yesterday's video Thank you so much for your kind kind words. Thank you so much for your support Now it's time for me to go ahead and close out of this video right now But I do want to let you all know uh, once again, uh, we will be streaming live on twitch Okay, twitch.tv slash charters 402 Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you guys did not know, we have a Discord channel. Uh, the link is going to be in the description down below. I encourage you guys to go ahead and check it out. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, Childish Place, checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.